Institute of Art has reopened now to visitors, and the first gallery that guests will encounter is one highlighting African American artists. And while this coincides with Black History Month, this particular gallery will actually remain in place well beyond February. Shane Wells joins us now with the curator of the show. Good morning. Mia has reopened, and it really is the perfect time because it is Black History Month, and they are shining a spotlight on the work of African American artists. We are in the in the presence of our ancestors' gallery. This is in the Cargill Gallery, and we have the curator with us this morning, Starasea Kamara. Thank you so much. We're honored to be joined by you. Hi. Thank you. Okay. Tell us about this show. Yeah. So this show comprises of 22 works that are new gifts from the Souls Grown Deep Foundation to Mia, and particularly in this exhibition, as you approach it. Um, you'll come up to the works of Joe Minter and Thornton Dial, creating a beautiful juxtaposition for our guests coming back. And you picked this and placed this on purpose. Tell us yeah, why. Absolutely. So the layout of the exhibition is very intentional. As you approach the show, you'll have an impression that the show focuses on nationhood and faith, which are incredibly important topics within the African American community. And also on a double-edged sword, present topics of debate, um, given our history in this country. But as you approach works closely and read the stories behind the, each one of these works, you'll realize that they're very regionally specific, in that the artists were very intentional about each decision that they made creating them. And as you read the stories and learned about each of these pieces, was there anyone that had a particular, you know, impactful or, or a memorable kind of moment or story for you? Yeah, absolutely. So. First and foremost, this work by Joe Minter, Old Rugged Cross, um, he would have created this as a memoriam for the four little girls that were lost in the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing. And this work would have been created 40 years after the fact. And as you see here, you'll see three different crosses, and this is a part of his assemblage work that he has as his installation, African Village in America, in his yard. It's one of the last yard shows in the United States. Wow. You'll see as you come into the exhibition, the layout is set up specifically in a circumambulation of four themes, origin, communal ritual, and as you see here, foresight, as well as spiritual reflection. And as you curate the show, what is it that you were hoping and, and that you want the community to get out of this? Yeah, I think it's incredibly important that these works are part of the permanent collection here as a gift from the Souls Grown Deep Foundation and that the communal work that they do very much extends into what our community really needs right now in Minneapolis and that the fact that this show will be available and on view through December 5th, 2021 really allows people to access black art outside of Black History Month, very much demonstrating that black history is every month. Absolutely. And important to recognize, you know, throughout history, I guess, non-white artists have not had the recognition um, that they deserve. And so this is a great way to do that and to bring that to the forefront. Again, we are at MIA. They are reopened, which is great news, Thursdays through Sundays. This exhibit, particularly in the Cargill Gallery, but will be on display for an entire year. It's called In the Presence of Our Ancestors. Back to you. Ah, we're glad we got more than just one month to visit that yeah, one. Yeah, right, for sure. Shane. It is nice.